if you're watching this, you're probably working on this project right here, create an event poster from a template in Adobe Express. And I want to show you a couple of ways to make sure that you get all of these requirements completed, including name your project, download a PDF, and a PNG version of your project. Why would you want to have two different versions, two different file formats? Your PDF would be great to take to the print shop, and your PNG version will be a lot better to put in your website because PDF doesn't work in Google Sites. We're inside Adobe Express, and here's a project that I've already completed. Don't show up on Friday, November 18th at 2.30 p.m. to Mr. Conklin's room because this already happened. But here's a problem. The name of the project is just my project. And I can't tell you how many students have turned in a file that's called myproject.pdf. That's not what we want to do. We use a naming convention as much as possible in Mr. Box program. So here's how you can change the name of your project in Adobe Express. Find the three dots. Go down to rename. Now we're renaming this. It should have your name in the file and the name of the project. All right, once you've named your project, now the most important part is to be able to download a couple of different file format versions of your assignment so you can turn those into the Google Classroom. Going up to the download button. And let's see, the first one it asks for is a PDF that you can take to the print shop. I'll hit start download. Depending on how you have your browser situated on your desktop, you might see a little drop down that pops and shows where the most recent download showed up. And in this case, it's my downloads folder. So I could go click on this one. Sometimes it shows up on the bottom here. So I can go show it in the finder. This is my downloads folder, and I can see your name poster just showed up there. The PDF, if I double click on it, will open up in a program called Preview. There it is. I can go scroll through it and see it's nice and high resolution. All right, next, we need to go make a PNG file to put in your website. We're going to turn both of these ones in on the Google Classroom. And I'll go back and look at my downloads folder again. I can see that this one has a little bit more of a thumbnail image on it. Let's, um, let's go change the view over to icons. And I can see that this has a um, thumbnail from the PNG. Oh, the PDF shows that it is a PDF on the thumbnail right there. So this is the pixel dimensions, 3300 by 5100. Yep, if I double click on this, it also should open up in preview, but it might look a little bit different how it handles things. So there you go. A couple of different ways that you can download your project so you can turn in both of those files on the Google Classroom. Thanks for watching.